Oh, hey, everyone. We're on episode nine, I think, of Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus here on Venture Ventures. And uh, I'm getting over a cold. I think I can say again, on a previous episode I was as well, uh, don't, don't hang out with sick people. That's my first tip. I don't have any more, so that's the only one. Um, previously, we were in, uh, we are in Van Thamper Villa underneath in the sewers or the sewer slash lair of Thalamra. And um, a kitty cat, Tressum, named Slobber Chops, led the group down there. And uh, the group, uh, as is becoming routine, failed some stealth checks and um, got in some fights, killed some cultists, killed a barbed devil, or barbid, if you prefer. Then fortuitously found the duke herself, the Lamra, just by searching around and just getting lucky. And uh, then she punched Kairos, our paladin, in the face real hard. 60-year-old woman just beat him up. Forearms then, at once can do that. And then died. She died, not, not Kairos. And, um, yeah, then they found uh, Krieg. Davius Krieg, who is the overseer, high overseer of Elturel, which... If you're familiar with the adventure, uh, El Terrell is a city that went missing. It disappeared. There's a big crater where it was. He wasn't there when it happened. He was in Baldur's Gate. And they found out that he might be evil. And there's also a Hell Rider with them now named Rhea Mantleborn from El Terrell, who... Uh, went missing for a few hours because she was reading a book because the DM forgot about her. And, um, she's back now. Chased Thavius Krieg into a area of the dungeon where he's trying to close the door, but she's got her dagger shoved in the crack so it can't close. That's where we left off. Am I, am I correct on that, everyone? Yeah, yes, we sir. really failed breaking that door down. Yeah, we did a bad job. Bad Jarvis job. is also kind of hurt. Everyone's hurt. Everyone yeah. is is thrashed. Cool. Go except, except for Rhea. <laughs> Kairos, not only is he physically thrashed, his ego is thrashed. I'm getting punched by a 60-year-old woman. I don't know. I also feel really good about some other things I did in that fight, so it's a it's, uh, balance. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so Rhea's going to make a athletic strength check. Uh, with advantage because she has her dagger in there. And we're going to see how this goes. Yeah, that'll do. I was going to say, can't be worse than mine was. Because Krieg is a not strong person. Nope. And uh, Rhea pushes the door open and says, Davius, I just want to talk. And uh he kind of cowers back as the door swings open and what you see uh, this room contains four wooden tables with two small wooden coffers atop each one hanging on the wall opposite the door is a beautiful golden shield standing in front of the shield is an old man in plain garments carrying a lit candlestick as he turns I hate box text. This is why I hate box text. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, so you see the old man playing garments. And um, his shadow, which I previously described, is like a uh, pig-like, but standing on uh, two feet and has wings and horns and stuff. And um, you also see like a human-sized birdcage type of thing with a man in it who is a human in his 50s he's short he's lean um 
and since he's in this cage, he has no weapons. Um, he's a prisoner. And, uh, yeah, what do you guys do? Rhea said, I just want to talk, so I'm like, Davis, I just want to smash your face. <clears throat> Cough up blood. I, I can't even deliver lines right now. <laughs> Somebody else going first. <laughs> Rhea approaches um, Davis. And uh, he he says, "Oh, a hell rider! Th 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 thank goodness! Uh, this is. What are you guys here to to do? This. I'm the overseer of El Terrell, and uh, Ray is just walking forward and says, Thavius, I don't. I don't know what to believe." I've heard some very bad things about you. And uh, as a paladin priest of Torm, what are you doing here in the Duke's lair with devils? It doesn't look like you are a prisoner by any means, much like you're not a prisoner compared to that guy. And uh, the guy in the cage says, uh, uh, Phil Philaster is my name. And then she continues to Thavius and says, so what are you doing here? And what is that? What is that shield? That gold shield? While they're talking, <clears throat> I utter a prayer to Hor and I cast and I, and I activate divine sense. Mm-hmm. Let lets me detect good and evil, and I know the location of any celestial, fiend, or undead within 60 feet that is not behind total cover. Does uh, Thavius Krieg seem like one of those, as opposed to a paladin priest of Tyr? Uh, he, so, evil, uh, say it again? Celestial, fiend, and undead within 60 feet. No, he's not those. The shield. The shield gives off, like... A celestial but like at the same time look at this uh, look at how it looks real quick gonna put it in the chat in the pinned reference material boop or not boop nope not gonna work okay you jerk uh, I'm doing it the old-fashioned way There it is. Gotcha. That is a pretty sweet shield. And it's hanging on the wall. A little disturbing. I want it. So, you're getting like a, a celestial, but it's like you're not... It's not like if you were in the presence of a planetar or a solar. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so... <laughs> carry on uh thavius holy crap that screen i need to turn it down um i got a cop <clears throat> Ugh. thavius says uh, what uh, Rhea? is that what i and she goes yes and uh he goes well i i am a prisoner but it's i i'm 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 just not allowed to leave i'm allowed to walk around as i as i will it and uh, she interrupts him and goes you are a priest of torm and you're walking around as you will it around devils and he goes well and then finally um he's starting to kind of break and uh he breaks down and uh, goes to his hands and knees and just starts moaning, what have I done? What have I done? Why me? Oh, gods, why me? And just repeating that. And um, he's kind of in a ball, starting to go into the fetal position and then uh, goes quiet for a second. And you just hear kind of like the same sobbing. And he falls on the ground onto his side. 
and you start to hear and he says there's no sense in fighting it fools the duke of avernus will get her way she always does and spews up some black sputum and grossness and in his hand is a vial of some kind empty and uh He's on the ground and Rhea looks at him and uh, starts kicking him. Just real angry. Well, that problem seems to have uh, taken care of itself. That's handy. I walk up to the uh, cage. I say, Phil, you said your name was right. Uh, would you, f- f- you f- want to get out of that cage? Philaster? Yeah, right. That That's the one. Uh, that'd be great. I, uh... I, uh... I think we can help each other. I assume the cage is locked. Uh, yeah, it's um. You could look break really it. Cool you... and just yeah, and just yank it as hard as I can and see if it. Make an open. uh strength athletics check if you like. I do, and I was a seventeen. Yeah, that's enough. Uh, it's not a a uh, big lock. Um, it's just in an awkward position for anyone from the inside for obvious reasons. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and uh, as you open it, um, Kairos, you hear in your head, Hello. Guys, the cage just talked to me in my head. No. My name is Gargoth. I am the hidden lord in this shield. Oh, yeah, I heard your name before. What is the cage saying to you? Uh, the, it's, it's not the cage, it's the, uh, it's that fucked up shield, uh, turns out. What did you hear? Anyway, one, one second, one second, let's, that's fine. Let's see what he wants. What did you hear? That your name was Gargoth, and, uh, Something, something, free you, demon, devil, I don't know, I'm not good with this stuff. Yeah. Let well, me go, hold on, hold on, I might have something here, and I take out and I start flipping through my book to check my notes. Nope, yeah, no, I didn't write any of that down. <laughs> he goes, uh, it would make sense that the Van Thampers would say that about me, since I have not been cooperating with their infernal plans. Mm. That's a good idea. Uh, they're, they're dead. See, so we got Fantastic. That for us. Fantastic. Yeah, it was a good time. We've had a, had a fun 24 hours. And I see that this little charlatan Thavius is dead. Mm, looks like. And I just kind of nudge it with my foot. Yep, Justice. Yeah, it seems like has been served upon most of them, it seems. Yeah, it should mean a good payday. Pretty happy about that. I may be able to assist you. Are you a paladin? Yep, yep, Scion of the Doombringer. That's me. Kairos is your name? Yes. <laughs> You feel, it's like not it's super <laughs> it's super weird you're having this conversation internally and it mm-hmm. and it feels um a little more intrusive um than you'd like uh do we hear him talking back or is he just no, like in just his, in his head, head talking head. okay uh and uh we'll go back to Philaster and Philaster exits the cage and says really glad to be out of there really great to see you guys uh this is i've assume you're not with you're definitely not with the van thampers but who are you are you actually with the flaming fist looking at your um badges if you have them on uh momentarily well, uh, so here's the deal. I, uh, I work for a sage at Candlekeep. Uh, Silvira Savikas 
Um, she's a good friend of mine. She's uh, been monitoring devil activity in Baldur's Gate and Elturel for months. Uh, Sylvira is convinced that our dead friend Thavius struck a bargain with an archdevil and that a copy of the contract he signed is hidden inside a puzzle box of some kind, some magic box. And uh, she asked me to come here and obtain proof of Krieg's crimes, as well as investigate a infernal, infernally linked location in the city, uh, Mandor Kai's mansion. Uh, so Vyra's no friend to Mr. Krieg, and, um, she thinks she can open the puzzle box, and I don't know if you've seen this puzzle box, but if you have, or know its location, she can pay handsome, handsomely, and is willing to pay handsomely, in gold or magic items. Uh, Candlekeep, I don't know how familiar all of you are with Candlekeep, but, uh, if you Assume aren't. not at all. Okay. Candlekeep is a repository, the world's greatest repository of tomes, books, and uh, knowledge to a great extent. And uh, it's very hard to get into because you have to offer a book at the gates to gain entry that the, that the keep doesn't have yet. And because of this, there's quite a hearty book trade slash book theft operations going on in Baldur's Gate and outside Baldur's Gate. You guys are familiar with that, and um, it's weird to see so many books being sold in a city, especially a city like Baldur's Gate, which is very violent, very murderous, and very unlike Waterdeep. Uh, and, um, yeah, so, Philaster is, uh, he asked you a question about... So, being, F being a sage that's worked at, uh, Candlekeep, I would know this. You worked at Candlekeep? Or was yeah. it... Are you sure? Uh, say, uh, da 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 because you gave me the Baldur's Gate sage. Candlekeep isn't in Baldur's G Gate, it's... It's a separate location. I think you're just in... Lectures, researchers, and historians, passing scholars, can handle the keep, and a lively exchange of ideas. While he's looking up, yeah. I just want to point out, at this point in the conversation, I've walked over to the shield, and I'm just, like, standing, looking up at the shield. Okay, we'll, we'll hop back to that once. Yep. Uh, I, th I think your background said you, you interact with people who have traveled to Candlekeep and possibly... Oh, okay. Maybe I was mistaken. But you know what okay. Candlekeep... Yeah. It, like, it's not... Okay. It's like saying, Gary, do you know what Disneyland is? <laughs> um, cool. It's pretty... It's pretty clear. Um, as I pop another cough drop in. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so Philaster, uh, do you know where the puzzle box is, perhaps? I do. I do, actually. Are you... Meow. Roll up we, uh, <laughs> we, uh, we know exactly where to get it. Um, and we can bring it, but... How do we know we can trust this this person? Would you like to insight check him? Yes. I remembered what my insight Anybody was. Anybody who'd like to insight check him can go ahead and do that. Fifteen. Maybe except you, Brian, because you're in conversation. I'm not rolling. Yeah, no, okay. I'm I'm phased Mod out of this conversation. Mod twenty. Dave Arino with the con flu powering through for Dungeons and Dragons
Dave know he's muted? Dave, you're muted. <laughs> just now. Yeah, I know. I was, I was rolling. Uh, okay. I, I wasn't going to roll. Um, I'm just trying to figure it out. Uh, let's see. I rolled a six. <laughs> so, Rollercoast, he seems very upfront and straightforward. Um, mixed with the fact that he was in a cage here, uh, imprisoned, and you now know because of what Thavius said with his dying breath that he's evil and uh you're pretty darn calm. like you're you're yeah you're pretty sure I, I i i cast message to my buddy do you think we can trust him uh i don't see why not and you were getting the same feeling um jarvis just maybe okay. not as strongly as yeah, I was kind of like iffy, which is I figured why I'd ask someone before I. Yeah. So I I pull the. Well, hold on, hold on, Fallister. Oh. Not that I don't believe you or have no reason to disbelieve you, but if we could deliver it to the to Candle Keep ourselves, it would make us feel better. I can get you into Candle Keep and come with you if you will. Yeah, that's fine. And Rhea is kind of distant at this point after. Um, kicking the body of Thavius after he died and she's just uh, yeah she's upset and uh, back to conversation with Kairos um, so Gargoth says that's Gargoth but I like Gargoth better so we're going to go with that. Um, <clears throat> he says these evil people have trapped me here and I no longer have access to many of the abilities that I once had when I inhabited my celestial form. But I can help a a fellow fighter for good in this world if you so choose to wield me. And if your adventure is taking you into a place that will gain you greater honor and please whore even more than whores please now, such as the Nine Hells, I would very much like to deliver holy justice with you. Well, I mean, that's a fascinating offer. I just want to point a few things out. Good in the force for good. It's, it's a, I don't really like to think of it in terms of like that. It's more just like if you're, if you're bad, bad things will happen, and I make sure that happens. And if you're good, good things will happen, and I try to make sure that happens. What better so if you're down for go. that, I mean, you are an impressive figure, I must say. You, you're you're gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I mean, I can't complain about horror. I and mean, he gave me this shield. It's got his faces on it. It's two faces. Uh, it's just horror symbol. What better place to extract the punishment that these things deserve than in the Nine Hills? You're not wrong. Um, I, I don't. I don't know that I'd just voluntarily go there, but I mean, I might be—I might end up there. This is possible. I just think I, you would be striking on my arm. I'd, I'd be a be a nice look. Regardless, here, let, either let's way. get you off the shield. Let's get you off the wall here. Really. Let's just take a look here. Can okay. I hoist him off the the wall? And um, so. Yeah, looking. By the way, looking back at my notes, um, my backstory—I had it that I worked. Um, and I was trying to find a location of a specific um, 
uh, academic library that I worked in, and I think you get, and think that's why I put um, uh, Candlekeep in my ally section. I I think people from Candlekeep are definitely in your like you know like I said you okay. know like I just don't think you worked there. Okay, fair enough. Um, Brian, you gonna attune? Try to attune to this. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep talking to him. Um, he seems like a stand-up guy so far. Okay. Uh, you know, we aligned on the Van Tampers. He doesn't like them. I didn't like them very much. I go into more grisly detail talking to him about how we dealt with the Van Tampers and how I got to drive a, a knife through at least one of their throats. Um, I hope he takes uh, pleasure in that. Oh, he's very much taking pleasure. I mean... He's very, that would endear me further to him. Yeah, he's very, uh, like, he doesn't get excited about things, but sure. verbally, he's very much, like, excellent. He, he gets that justice yeah. boner. Um, yeah, no, I mean, he's, I'm vibing with uh, Gorgoth. Yep. Okay. Yep, we're, we get along. We get along. Okay. Um, Philaster says, also, that shield... Uh, we can have Sylvira take a look at that and uh, see what she knows about it as well. Um, I don't know <laughs> its exact... Oh, sorry, he told a joke. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Thavius was talking to it as well. Seem to be trying to convince it to help them in some yeah, way. That's what he said. Uh, he wasn't on board. Turns out this dude is uh, not as shitty as we may have heard. And uh, some of Celestial, he says he is. I don't know. He wants to smash he, things with me, so we're going to smash some things. Says with he me. was. The shield says it was a Celestial and it's trapped uh, in I there. I think that's what he said. Yep. Yeah, something like that. See, in a Celestial body doesn't anymore obviously he's a shield doesn't <laughs> clearly oh well, we can talk with Sylvira about this doesn't quite make sense because why would Thavius be asking a celestial for help in corrupting the city and I don't know but I stopped listening to your question like four words in Philaster uh, turns back to you guys and says, well, uh, <laughs> we should, uh, have you cleared out the rest of this dungeon, or uh, did you go to the prison section and kill the barbed devil there? Uh, no. Mm, doesn't sound familiar. We did kill a barbed devil, but he was standing next to a big angel statue. Or a white statue? Was it an angel? Uh, yeah, there's a couple of them around, so maybe there's the the there's still one. Yeah, but it didn't look like a prison. There weren't any cells. So, yeah, so you uh, didn't. Sounds like no, we uh, didn't. There's more to do here. Hey, Gorgoth, you want to go have some fun? There's also still upstairs in her room, her treasure chest or whatever. That's also protected by a spine devil or something. Not a spine devil. Helmed horror. Helmed horror. If thirst wells to be believed. And Rhea is just like trying to pull herself together quietly and it's just like Oh Slobber Chops. What's that? Slobber Chops told us that, not Thirstwell. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Um then she's uh she looks conflicted and is just very upset and uh, wants to exact vengeance um, from the things she's heard about El Terrell being dragged to hell. And, uh, yeah, she's just very, like, uh, angry, seemingly, now. And uh, what would you guys like to do? Well, um, I, I go over to her and I just kind of nudge her with my elbow and like, Ray, you, uh, you okay there? No, I'm not. This is what we wanted, right? Like, it's he, not he what I shit. wanted. He's, he's dead, right? I didn't want him to be an evil fucker. Oh, yeah. That, I, but that, he was. Ideal. 
And now he's dead. So. Eh. And I gave my life. Silver linings. I gave an oath to the Hell Riders, and he was our leader, and we were following a false ally who was in league with devils. Oh, yeah, okay, that, uh, yeah, I get it. All right, that burns. That burns. It's shitty. And he's seemingly the cause of everything, possibly. That's where my mind is going. It does look that way. Yep, okay, I'm seeing it. So, So, guys, (laughs) I will be, if you'll have me, in further adventures, possibly to kill more devils, I would love to come along with you. If not, I will find other places to kill devils. I mean, it sounds like we have one just in the other room, so if you give us a few minutes, I need to wrap some gauze. I was really hoping to sit down for like an hour. (laughs) She, she, um, at least... She nods and sits down, and you guys going to take a short rest? Yes, please. Are you going to do anything with the door? Uh, can we move a table against it? or is it... Yeah, you can. Uh, it's got a lock. Heavy. Oh, it's got a lock? I mean, we yeah, he was trying to lock it when you guys were... Um... I didn't know if she broke that when she busted in she or not. She didn't break it. The door didn't yeah. close because she had her dagger in the crack, um, so it was never activated. Gotcha. Uh, so you close the door, and it locks. <clears throat> And um, you hear some voices outside during your short, hour-long short rest. Um, human voices, uh, not dissimilar from what you heard uh, previously with some of the cultists in the dungeon. And you get your short rest. Awesome. I'm just going to roll some hit, hit die. Hit die. <laughs> Need some of this. Oh man! How much do I need? Twenty-four to get back to full. I got a one and a two. That's a rude. And then another seven. So it's fourteen. One more. One into ten. It's twenty-four. Wow. I rolled a one, a two, a three, and a three. A one. Used all a my two, hit dice. A three. Wow. A four. For a whopping 40 10, for a whopping 17. I rolled two with fives my con. and an eight. Jesus. Lo siento mucho, senor. I got That's gonna... just back to full health with three of my rolls, Brian. It's going to take a hot minute to, to get those. Uh, to get those hit die back yeah maybe after this we could take a mini vacation for about <laughs> three days um the shield jake uh do i need to add anything to my equipment Ooh, no, that, are you I've attuning achieved. to it yeah okay oh yeah i am so it's a i take my short rest to bond with gorgal i'm gonna cough sorry <coughs> um while holding this shield you gain a plus two bonus to ac because it's a Holy shield shit. And oh, okay. I, <laughs> it's not I was like, whoa, it. it's a plus two shield? That's crazy. <laughs> no, it's just the plus two. And yeah, okay, resistance yeah, yeah. <laughs> resistance to fire damage. And uh I already have that. Double resist. Gargoth <laughs> tells you um that he can take a a uh he can help keep watch and such if need be uh, and you can cast fireball uh, using his magic uh, the I shield can. mechanically this is how it works you have three charges and um, uh, one charge to cast fireball two charges to cast wall of fire from the shield uh wall of fire spell lasts for one minute no concentration required um and the shield regains all expended charges daily at dawn you said it's wall of fire for two charges yeah two charges to cast wall of fire and the save dc for that one is 21 or for both is 21 damn all right it's a beastly shield 
Sartron would have loved it. Oh, I'm I'm happy. This is on on brand for me. <laughs> is uh, what I'd call it. And um, Falister, by the way, can you fight? Uh, usually I can. I'm usually I try to not fight whenever possible and use subterfuge to get around. Currently, I have no weapons. Currently, I am severely undernourished and very thirsty and hungry, and in no way, shape, or form capable of providing any benefit to you all at this moment. But uh, I think they were storing our things. Uh, Say, so I got some rations in a water skin if you need some food. Real I would, quick. I would be forever grateful if we, if I could, please. Yeah, absolutely. And he uh, starts drinking and eating rations like it's the best thing he's had in a while. And <coughs> with a full, a full mouth, he goes, I think my weapons are are in a room near the prison uh, prison uh, room around here which is just down the hall to the east well let's go check that out yeah, how many cultists up, did you kill there may be still a few around well probably I mean we killed let's see one four four just with the devil here. just Oh, Plus two in the hallway. hallway. Thirstwell upstairs, an imp. Uh, there were a few other uh, spined devils when we came down. I don't know, we killed a bunch. We'll kill anyone we come across, it's how fine. How many was that, did you say? I'm sorry, this is Jake asking. Four, six, six cultists, three spined devils. Okay, you're good. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay. Uh, yeah, so... The <laughs> Yeah, uh, did I put up... I think I put up the... You did. The map. Yeah, so he... Philaster says uh, it's to the east, and he's basically telling you it's V29 is the prison where the barbed devil was. And we're in V28? Uh, you're in the V36. V30. So you guys V36. came in gotcha. okay. on the north uh, section of V26... And you had your fight, and then you went to the southwestern corner, found those two secret doors. Mm -hmm. Thalamer burst out of V28, died in V28, or died in V26, and V28 was where Thavius was, oh, ran man. out the secret door there, and then down the hallway to V36. <clears throat> gotcha. Thanks. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, uh, let's uh, let's go. Gorgoth wants to go and lead the way, so I'll take point. Okay. Um, as you uh, are, you guys gonna stealth or anything? What's your marching order? We can attempt to stealth. Gorgoth, you want to go quietly? Yeah, we'll go. It quietly. matters not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can attempt to stealth. Let's uh, okay, let's that's attempt. Good. Maybe I could carry you guys through that through this. I am very good at it, after all. All right. It wasn't a one. It wasn't a one. Check that. It was a ten. Wow. Twenty-five or what did everyone get? Just tell me. Twenty. Ten. Twenty. Seven. Seven. Eighteen. Eighteen. That's the second one, Jarvis. That you've been lower than me. Just is it? it out. Yeah, it is. I thought it was the. Mm. Nope, that's the second. Mm. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. And uh, Rhea, while you guys are preparing to leave, she's cutting off the head of Thavius. Rhea, do you, do you need that? <coughs> Taking that with you? I mean, yeah, she clearly let her take it. It's a but souvenir. I need, to, I need to prove that this evil fuck is dead. All right. Uh, did anyone check his pockets? Nope. No. While we were sleeping? <laughs> no, not yet. Nobody checked this room either. Um, I'm going to go back <laughs> and check his pockets. <laughs> and, the, and the wooden coffer is on the tables. You're welcome. 
<laughs> for <laughs> I was trying. <laughs> I was thinking of letting you just forget about it, but um, I'm a softie apparently. You were a kind god king. <laughs> um, let's see what he has. Oh, Thavius. 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 He's got a symbol of Torm, a silver pendant shaped like a right-handed gauntlet on the end of a silver chain in his pocket wrapped in some leather, which for a priest of Torm uh, doesn't make a lot of sense why you wouldn't be wearing that. I take it. Um, and uh, yeah, obviously like I said before, anything you find in any of these rooms, ask me what the number location is so I can easily flip through and get you what you need when if you, when and if you sell them. Uh, what else does he have? That's about, I mean he's got some like chalk 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 and um he's got some like sh like a, a a shoe like a kid's shoe in each pocket as well <laughs> and uh don't touch those those are evil <gasps> things surely you said it. <laughs> um, and that's about it. But in there was the... A... No. Yep. I was going to say, there was a desk in this room too, right? Yeah, I was just going to read off okay. what you guys found in this room. Cool. Um, coffer 1 contains 30 Electrum ingots. As you guys are going through this, Philaster says, I think all of this was going to be used to bribe other... They talked about bribing other families that didn't go along with their plan to have the Van Thampers take over Baldur's Gate. So, uh, take whatever you want. Um, I'm just interested in getting back to Candlekeep with this puzzle box and that shield. Um, Electrum is 10 gold? It's a 50 cent piece. The ingots, okay. The ingots, oh, there we go. Yeah, the ingots are 10 gold piece each. 30 electrum ingots. Uh, coffers 2, 3, 4 contain 100 gold pieces belonging to the Van Thumper family. How much was it? Sorry. 100. Just wait, there's going to be a bunch of guys in masks outside the house waiting to steal all our loot. <laughs> Ultis the cultist? Coming. Yeah, he's coming Ultis back. Ultis the cultist. <laughs> Uh, coffer five contains two p. You got a little more uh, health now and a lot more firepower. <laughs> um, Fireball. Yeah, uh, you could just ring them in a wall of fire and be like, "What were you saying? <laughs> I'm sorry. What?" Um, <laughs> while they roast, coffer five contains two pieces of a broken ceremonial dagger, uh, a curved ivory blade bearing draconic runes that spell out. Out. Anyone speak Draconic? No. Nah. Uh, okay. Holy shit, Ultist is gonna come get that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so the Draconic runes on the ivory blade, a bone hilt wrapped in leather strips and studded with gemstones. Um, uh, with uh, like a broken blade next to it. Um, coffers six and seven each contain. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Um, coffers six and seven each contain a hundred platinum belonging to the Van Thamper family. They each contain? Indeed. Oh, is two, three, four, they each contain a hundred gold? Yes. As well? Yes. Okay. Uh, coffer eight contains 20 Azurite gems. And this is V36. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So how much of this can we take? Most of it's coins. So probably a lot, if not all of it, huh? 
I would say if we divvied it up, if we divvied it all up. of it, yeah. use, use D&D Beyond. Yep, yep. Will D&D Beyond know the weight of an Electrum ingot? Maybe. Since it, you could do the math, since um, figure out yep. what one Electrum is and then figure out how many you need to equal uh, 10 gold pieces. Have fun, Brian. Oh man. Okay. Well, it's fifty copper as an electrum, so it's it's twenty pieces for each gold. So two hundred pieces makes ten gold. So each electrum ingot is two hundred pieces of electrum. Pretty heavy, that, right? I think I don't know. Yeah, that one. That's the only one that's like super heavy. much does an electrum weigh? All right. Where's my weight? If I add one electrum... Jerry can doesn't... carry a lot, I bet. Before we get to the electrum, let's just do this one real quick. We each get 75 gold if we divvy it up. And we each get 25 platinum. No, there's 200 there's... platinum. We each get 50 platinum. 75 gold. That's the easy money. Yeah. 75 gold and easy platinum. And 75 gold, 50 platinum. Um, somebody pocket the gems. We have to figure out how much those are worth later. I've already got it written down, so I'll take them. I'll pocket the sac two pieces of the sacrificial dagger, the dragon dagger. And uh, let's go take care of the devils, come back, get this uh, ingot chest, and uh, we can carry that with us. How's that sound? Sure. All right. Jarvis, do you want to cast the tech magic? Yeah, I do. I meant to do that earlier, and I forgot that we got bombarded, so I'd like to do that. <laughs> uh, I yeah. forgot it. This is the room that I was interrupted in when I was doing it, right? <laughs> Incorrect. Um, okay. Yeah, you have it cast while you're resting. It doesn't take much longer. Um, let's see. So, obviously, the shield is... Uh, magic and it's got evocation, abjuration enchantment and shit um, the puzzle box I already told you about I think yep uh, the shield's pretty much the exact same things as the puzzle box it sounds like yeah exactly. I mean it's you're not gonna get much out of when, when something has a bunch of different schools of magic on it, it, it makes it much harder to figure out what, for obvious reasons, uh, Got it. figure out what's going on. Uh, the curved ivory blade um, is not uh, glowing or lighting up on your infrared. Uh, I think that's it. Yep. You guys want to stop by that original room we were in that I was trying to look for anything magical in on our way out? I think we're going to pass it on our way. What uh, what room is that? Uh, V26. Uh, let's make sure everything's dead first, but yeah, I don't see any harm in double checking. Let's get uh, let's get Phil dressed. He's been he's he's been naked this entire time. It's <laughs> it's Fillet, never mind. <laughs> yeah, it, it's too many syllables is what it is, Phil. Okay. <laughs> uh, he's he's more suspicious and weary of you because you're so readily cool with the shield, um, which he's not sure about. So. Um, so you guys head out. He was a naked dude in a birdcage. I'm suspicious of him too. He had like rags <laughs> on. He had like rags on and stuff. But um, oh, okay. So you guys head out and um, you exit the door and you look right in front of you uh, down that northern north south hallway are two more of those cultists swinging. Uh, what do you guys shoot? Do? Shoot them. Let's roll. Well, I think... Run. How uh, far are they? 
Kairos is first, right? I did say Gorgoth wanted to go first. All right, you want to do anything? Because there, you got a second. Um, I'm just sprinting at them. All right, roll initiative. <laughs> I'm I'm not fireballing them yet. No. <laughs> Come on! I was ex I want that. It'll happen. Don't worry. They freaking refresh at dawn, dude. That is a good point. I'm a fireball one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> so I'm just getting you to waste just... all your charges before a big fight. Right. Um, I'm just going to brace myself, square up in the doorway, and just anchor the shield and says, Gorgoth wanted to do something. And, uh... So when you, do, when you uh, activate it, um, you see on the outside of this shield... It glows white hot and it kind of uh, just zeroes into the center, right where that, I guess, nose the, is. It, nose, <laughs> for lack of a better descriptor of that shield, kind of goes into the nose and then starts to go out again. And this massive, uh, like, basketball sized fireball starts leaving the shield and gets a little bigger, bigger, bigger as it gets closer to them. And goes boom, and um, they failed their saving throws. So, uh, what? What? Um, how cooked are they? They're thirty-four points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was good rolls. Um, obliterated. I just I, I take I take Gorgoth off of my shield arm. I turn him around and I look at him and I just say, yeah, "We're going to be really good friends." <laughs> good. I put him back on. Excellent. All right, guys. I'm... Jerry. Jerry just like leans over to Jarvis, and he's just like, "I think they're going to be more than friends." <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, Dave! <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <God>. Um, <laughs> yeah. So they I, um the on fireball... cloud nine, and I skip down the hall. <laughs> well, I mean, the fireball goes off, and it's. I don't know how often any of you have seen a fireball go off. So um, regardless, it's surprising and loud. And uh, once you can see after what is left, there's just ashes and 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 the sensors. The uh... but all the incense has <laughs> been were left. Oh, yeah. The, the, that's gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, onward. <laughs> Good kind job. of sad. Kairos got fireball before me. <laughs> uh, and um, that's actually hilarious. I didn't even think that. Kind of fucked up. <laughs> I've been waiting for fireball, and you get it before me. I mean, there's nothing that says a wizard can't hold a, sh a shield, I don't think, unless you're, like, super weak. Um, yeah, they, they gain no AC from it. Neg but... I also yeah, have no negative one strength. In it. Yeah, but yeah. you can still cast fireball. That's true. Um, but he'd have to pry the shield from Kairos's cold, okay. dead finger. And they'd probably have to be cold and dead, to, uh, Yeah. Um, so, Philaster, Philaster <laughs> says, uh, uh, I think it's east on down this. Not We don't need to go up that hallway. I mean, I'll follow you guys wherever you go, but uh, where, yeah, which, yeah. where do you east. guys go? Go east. All right. So, uh, you guys head down the hallway, and um, you come to a southern hallway that juts off to the south, um, but there's some big iron bars, obviously, blocking the way, similar to what you've seen when you guys were scouting before. Um, and uh, you head down, you're about to hit that little turn to the south at the end of the hallway and a bearded barbed excuse me barbed devil 
uh, turns turns the corner, and uh, we'll use the same initiative that you guys rolled before, if you still have it. Yep. 25 to 20. 20 to 15. 17. 19. Damn, Jerry's rolling tonight. 15 to 10. 14. Who do? Somebody rolling in the chat. Someone did. Dave did. That would be me. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick. Mm -hmm. Don't run, you might fall. Oh, where did I put that? Damn it. There we go. Uh, okay. Jerry. <clears throat> Jerry uh, just gets out his javelin and um, I think his hands are damp or something from this the sewers that we've been in and he just he throws it but it like kind of slips out of his hand as, as he's going and it only goes like 10 feet oh. he's just like oh man um, I, rolled, I rolled a 9 total so I don't know that that probably wasn't that bad probably got almost got to them and then just yeah it wasn't on as the bad as you might think also it's not a, a barbed devil it's a bearded devil i was right the first time um anything else you'd like to do nope roller coast i'm gonna take my two shots uh both of them sharpshooter heck yeah plus what is it with the sharpshooter point plus two so 15 to hit on the first one Yes. 17 to hit on the second. And that's going to be a metric ton of damage. Eight. Plus 7 is 15. Plus 4 is 19. Plus 20, so 39 total damage between the two hits. Okay. Um, you're like, sure, this is going to fuck this guy up. And similar to what happened before, um, it just doesn't look like it damaged this bearded devil as much as you would have hoped, but it still did damage. Sweet. Uh, no, that's incorrect math, Jake. Incorrect math. There we go. Kairos. Kairos. I hit it. I see you run up to it, and you hit it with what? With my mace. Okay. Morningstar, not mace. I know what my weapon is. And a miss with a 10. Swing and a miss. But I'm up there. Jarvis. I think you're muted. Muted. Why did I mute on Zoom? Jarvis throws a firebolt with a 16. Yes. Sweet. Uh, actually, 17, but it doesn't matter. Um, and I do a whopping two damage. Nice. It's not half, though. Anything else? Nope. I stay back. Okay, it is the Bearded Devil's turn. It's going to hit you, Kairos. One with its beard, one with its glaive. With its beard. Its beard is like almost tentacly a little bit, but it's got little stingers on the ends of it, and it's moving and long and disgusting. Gross. And it's going to roll. That's a 19 to hit. Yes. And let's see if the glaive that it's wielding hits you. Uh, that is a 7 8 to hit. Won't do it. No. Uh, the beard. That is 10 piercing damage as this beard. It, there's so many uh, points on it and, and little syringe-like needles that it's hard to keep track of what you're blocking. 
uh, one of them gets you and hits you for 10 piercing damage and make a constitution saving throw. 15. Okay, you're good. Uh, Sweet. That is its turn. It is now Jerry's turn. Um, Jerry's going to run and pick up his javelin and just try again. Nice. <laughs> Even worse. So he's just like, oh, man, my hands are so slippery. Jeez. And he tries to throw it again and, like, <laughs> like slips out of his hand and just falls to the ground. I rolled a one. <laughs> How does Jerry feel, like, because um, seeing Kairos shoot a fireball and um, he's got more backup in this group now because there's more people with him. Is Jerry more pressured to do damage to, like, keep up with people, or is he, like, feel less pressure? No, I don't think... I don't think uh, it's really registering with Jerry that people are doing more damage than him. I mean, it, when he connects with his axe, he does pretty good damage. So he's, I don't know. Yeah, he does. He's, he's not that type of person who would, like, uh, feel that way about. Well, I don't think he as a character knows how much damage. Not damage, but, like, you know yeah. how helpful you're being in a fight. Right, right, right. Well, I mean, if he goes through a whole fight and he hasn't done you know jack shit then yeah he'll, he'll feel bad okay i was he just, just curious yeah he just doesn't want to be you know useless outcast yeah you know. uh rollercoast sharpshooter for a mod 20 nice pew pew so one on the damage die plus three is four plus ten fourteen seven that's it for me thing is looking very hurt uh kairos Let's see if i can hit it this time i can't <laughs> i also did worse this time around with a nine gargoth says maybe we should just fireball this fucker <laughs> I know it seems like a good idea, but I'm standing right next to him, Garga. <laughs> I don't think it's I don't think it's the move right now. Every time they're talk, it's just through their minds, right? Like you yep. can't hear any of this. Yep. Okay. Unless I laugh because uh, I find something that's funny. <laughs> that's out loud. Jarvis. Well, Jarvis was gonna throw a scorching rays at him, but since he's hurt, oh, Jarvis isn't gonna do anything. Twelve. Uh, no. Close. My but, um, firebolt goes off to the side. Okay. Miss. Thos is turned back at Kairos. Um, beard attack. Another 19. Yes, sir. And another fucking 8 on the glaive. Ooh, but my constitution is not as good this time. If uh, I need it. 5 piercing damage. Make a constitution saving throw. 8. You are poisoned for one minute. No. Okay. Please familiarize yourself with what that means. I know what it means. Cool. Excellent. Um, that's its turn. Jerry. Jerry just decides to uh, to just instead of throw the javelin, he's just gonna run at the devil and just just like. Poke him? Yeah, just poke him. And he get, he rolled a 23 yeah. and uh, did eight points of damage. Hell yeah. He gets it right in the beard. Yeah, you do. Uh, you actually skewer one of them. And, uh, but there's so many of them. You feel like it should have done more damage. Again, this is uh, it's not magical weapon, so he's taking... <coughs> Man, talking hurts. Um... Relicos. Shoot. Shooter. Shoot. 16? Yes. Beautiful. That's 2, 6, 16 damage. That'll do. You want to pin him against the wall? You can pin him against Hell the yeah. wall. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I do. Uh, with a Javelin just getting pulled out of one of its beard tentacles, 
uh, your arrow passes by as Jerry's pulling the javelin out and hits him through the beard and he kind of falls back and you hear the tip of the arrow dragging across the stone walls as he falls into a puddle of ichor and steams away before he falls all the way down I quickly grab the end of the arrow and I try to shove it deeper into the wall so that it's not <laughs> sliding a, down make an athletic strength check uh, strength would be 18 okay let me see if uh, you're lucky enough to find a a divot a divot <laughs> Whoever comes down here next, is it's going to be a real horror show. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, you do find one. Um, and the head stays there as the body starts to elongate because it's all turning into ichor. Uh, gross, oozy-type infernalness. Uh, you guys are out of uh, combat. And Slobber right. Chops comes around the corner and uh, goes... <laughs> And uh, Jerry, uh, you can't understand unless you cast. Uh, I was just gonna say that uh, I was thinking of like the the janitor coming in that night and just being like, "Ah, oh, jeez." <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I cast uh, speak to animals, or I don't think it's like beast sense or something. Yeah. yeah. Can we assume that? Um... It's ten minutes. He yeah. casts it every time. Slobber yeah. chops. Yeah, yeah. Um, that one. Slobber chops says, eh, but "That's." I can go for a nice deep dish. The, <laughs> the smell. I'm not so much into eggs. It smells like rotten eggs over here. So, uh, <laughs> how's it going? I see you got a new shield. Uh, you can't understand him, Kairos. Uh, no, but when he came around the corner, I do say. Ah, oh, slobber chops. We found something for you, and I flick him a piece of the dried meat snacks that we found and he goes, uh, in a barrel somewhere. Oh, awesome! That I haven't. Let me check. And he smells it and uh, starts eating it. And he goes, "Oh, make sure you thank uh, Kairos. Ky- I think I caught someone saying his name. Uh, Jerry. Jer- slobber sure. chops is real grateful, Kairos. Yeah, thank you, Jerry. Um, so uh, this place is a mess are you planning on getting out of here soon Jer number one number two uh, what is your next plan of we're, action uh, we're going to candle keep with uh, with all these other dudes um, is yeah the Duke Thalamra still alive? No, we killed Thalamra. Oh, yeah. okay. That's what. That's the main issue. Yeah, we laid her hairy forearms to rest. Uh, yeah, hairy and large. Um, she has choked many a servant out for absolutely no reason. With those. what was your relationship with her? Uh, well, she she spent a good amount of money on snacks for me, and. Uh, very high quality snacks and i tolerated her and just oh, okay. stayed so she never strangled you oh no she loved me oh, okay. i, I well, don't quite feel the same other than <laughs> uh you know she loved me like i love snacks so yeah well you didn't get in her way of you know taking over baldur's gate so yep she loved you if she wanted to uh you know prevent me from getting snacks it'd be a different story right Jerry? oh and, yeah uh, oh man you got here's some of the shit that slobber jobs is talking and i imagine like these two are talking and kairos and gargoth are talking and it's just all to themselves <laughs> and... <laughs> yeah and jerry jerry tops it off he's like he's like you see that guy over there with that shield i'm pretty sure he's gonna fuck that shield <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? That's insane! And he starts laughing. And and I'm just sitting here very confused as to why this man can speak to cats, and I'm just like, why the fuck can't I understand you? Right? Trying different types of meows. (laughs) And uh, yeah, at at some point, uh, Slobber Chop says to when Rollercoaster is making various kitty noises, uh, 
uh, yeah, Slavertop says to you, Jerry goes, I've seen this before. Uh, some of these tabaxi, they, they, uh, they can't understand why they can't talk to me and I can't talk to them. And sometimes they start just trying anything. And it's kind of sad uh, when you, <laughs> when you, it's, it's a little bit desperate, Jared, don't you think? I mean, uh, yeah, just be like, confident. What? Don't people have different languages? Yeah. And wouldn't cats have different languages? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And like, yeah, it's just, I don't know. He seems like a cool cat though. So, uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. Yeah. Don't, got, don't tell him yeah. I said that, but yeah, it's just a little weird. Uh, it's just you and me. do you mind if I go to candle keep with? No. Yeah. You guys, I, that would be, that would be awesome. Fantastic. I'm going to come to candle keep with us guys. I'm going to wait by where we, uh, entered like I was doing and you guys can finish up what you're doing here. Uh, yeah, have at it. And he, uh, he kind of like when he walks away, he kind of uses his wings to kind of like float and then go back down because he's heavy. Fly <laughs> and then float back down. Um, so yeah, you guys killed that bearded devil. What would you like to do now? Search the prison. Okay. Get Phil his clothes back or his stuff back, not his clothes. And I'm still pinging for magical items. Noted. All right. So, um, Philaster enters with you guys and um, starts looking in the various uh, cells and uh, finds his stuff, starts putting it on in another cell you see a 70 year old woman 70 ish year old woman and uh she says excuse me would you mind letting me out of here uh yeah no problem well yeah. hold on yeah. one second the last old lady we helped turned out to be not an old lady i'm just throwing that out there should, should. I let Phil out of a cage like without even asking him a single question, so I'm certainly not one to talk. You just hear Phil after <laughs> sigh. Are we, in the are we talking about the one that I didn't trust and you're like, they're fine, they're fine. The one covered in blood? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I don't think we should trust her, and you're like, we're good. So, nah, she's so are we killing the old lady? Uh, I'm not saying that. I'm just, Gorgoth I'm just, says I'm to you, saying. Kairos, um, do not release her. She is my she, her family patriarch family kept me prisoner for years and until the Van Thampers stole the shield from them uh, I was theirs to use as they would like and they did not use me for good and only wanted to use me for personal gain and greed how does one right, I know just people? one minute ago I said <laughs> you can. That, uh, it's your call and I was just mentioning it. I have changed my vote. It is a hard no for me. I don't trust her. <laughs> and I just throw fire bolts at her. Okay, so yeah, uh, sure. Uh, <laughs> make an attack roll. <laughs> whoa, whoa, that's not what I said. <laughs> okay. okay. I probably missed. <laughs> Nine. Uh, she's a... Uh, She's a <laughs> seventy-year-old woman. You hit. <laughs> Whoa! Fuck it. Whoa! That was really harsh, even by our standards. <laughs> and the very thin rags, prisoner rags, they got her in start catching fire, and she starts screaming. Uh, oh, jeez! Now, uh, I feel uh, we that's gotta. The end. Now of we it. gotta put the. Ah, oh, <laughs> I was gonna put her out of her misery. <laughs> You 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 said not to trust her, and I last said time, don't let her out. That's that doesn't good. mean kill kill but, her with a fireball. Uh, what? Uh, the shield told him not to trust. We did. Jarvis, while you're oh, that was my all, opinion fully. I just want to point that. While out. you're making all those noises, Jarvis, you hear a voice in your head that says, "That was an excellent choice." <laughs> and I just start laughing out loud. Hey, Kairos, your shield's talking to me now. She is a member of the Thion Hune 
family, aristocratic family. Was. <laughs> <coughs> In your head, Relicos, you hear it was. Um, <laughs> was. And then uh, that's all you hear. Everyone. What else? Oh, do, do you see your stuff? Oh, he's putting it on and uh, peeks out and he's got his stuff on and is like, did someone just kill that old lady <laughs> in the jail cell? It was the shield. And like cover, using the shield to block my other hand from Jarvis, uh, but not from <laughs> Phil, I point to Jarvis. <laughs> and uh, Philaster just kind of goes, I, she, she wasn't, she wasn't a good person. Uh, so <laughs> I, it's fine, I guess. Um, and he's got like basic, um, commoner clothes, uh, some leathers, and um, a couple blades and stuff. Um, nothing too fancy. Um, yeah, there's nothing glowing in here. What else? Set my firebolt into the old woman. Correct. Her ashes are glowing. <laughs> we just do a quick sweep of the rest of this floor and see if there's anything else down here we need to massacre. Um, yeah, we can we can skip ahead. That's a grand idea, I think. Uh, do you want to make an investigation check for every single remaining room, and that will be what you get? It's fine with me. As long as I'm not the one that does it pick someone to do it and do it with advantage <laughs> one person will do it or two people can do it without advantage i'll you... do it i got okay. i've got plus six on investigation okay there you go uh, so i'm rolling each room individually or just no you're one? just doing one roll one roll okay What's advantage 19 okay oh no sorry uh it's plus what did i say plus six so <laughs> no it's actually 21 Okay. I had rolled a 15 plus 6. Oh, I was like, why didn't it go up uh, 6? I thought you had rolled a 9. No, I added 4 for some reason, and I, I don't see. know why. I was rolling... Yeah, I don't know what I was... Why? Don't ask. All right. It's nothing but nature and religion are a plus 4. <laughs> um, you find wine. 17 bottles of fine wine. Those are... Uh, that was fine at V21. Um, as we're walking around searching, I open one of those bottles of wine and just start drinking it. Okay, you no longer have 17. Uh, you have 16 to sell if you want. Um, but you're chugging on the 17th. Yep. Uh, no, no, no. Got that, got that. Also, I... I have it for 10 minutes. I don't know how long it's been so far since we started walking around. I'm guessing at some point. It's yeah, I'm off. taking that into account. Cool. And on the various uh, cultists, in the cultist quarters, you find um, another 40 gold. It's total 40 gold pieces. It's assorted coinage, but um, the total is 40. Um, I also just did the math on Electrum again. I was way off before. Just so, so far off. Each ingot is 20 pieces of Electrum, not 200. Um, and that, that makes bad. the 30 ingots total be 600 pieces of Electrum split up. We each get 150 Electrum or uh, 75 gold. If you just want to call it gold and make it. Nope, that's yep, that's right. 75 gold. Cool. Each person? Yes. So, uh, that's not including the 40 we just got. That is just the Electrum. That's the only thing so I'll You guys want to, I'll divvy, we'll divvy up the 40, so 10 gold each. So yeah, 85 so we... total. Okay. Um, also, this was my bad um, from earlier since we're doing this. Um, I have to divvy up. Oh my God, why are you being stupid? I have uh, 73 gold to divvy up. Um, you can keep the change. Sure. So that's eighteen gold a person. Uh, 
Got it. And uh, yeah, you guys head out with Slobber Chops, Rhea, Falaster, a Talking Shield, a interesting puzzle box. Uh, are Did you we just go upstairs to the vault or to her chest yet? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, you want to go up yep. there? Yep. Yep. I yep. saved some yep. spells for that. I don't want to go in first unless you want me to stand. Up I will. And I, I will there. gladly throw some spells in that room. Every time I go in first, I get knocked unconscious. You should not go in first. <laughs> You are not the one I was suggesting you should go in first. <laughs> Jerry is happy to go in first and take take punishment. Good man, Jerry. Good man. Ray, if you want to get some rage out, you could also jump in. Yep. Where the hell did I put that? Oh, there we go. Oh, sick. Okay. You guys head into the Duke's Powder Room, which is the first room you can enter. And uh, somebody, what would you like to do? Uh, we just go right in. Jerry, Jerry just opens the door. Okay, you go in, and uh, it's a powder room. There's there's a a vanity and. Um, jewelry box and uh, yeah. And there's hey two guys, doors. it's all looks like it's all clear in here. And I don't see the. I, I I open the jewelry box. Actually, yeah, I open the jewelry box. And something bad might happen, but oh well. There's two doors, one in the north uh, wall and one in the south. The jewelry box, nothing happens. It's a wooden jewelry box with electrum filigree, holding a pearl necklace. This is in V16. A platinum cameo shaped like a winged cat. And there are two red thin vials. Mm. And what was the second thing you said? The, the... platinum cameo? What is that? Well, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Oh, okay. I'll just write it down. Cool. Uh, I believe it might be a brooch of some kind, but I could be wrong. Do you go to the north door or the south door? Uh, Slobber Chops, how do we get to her room oh, where the uh, chest is? Jared, the, uh, the north room right there is the master. And, He's saying it's the north room right there. And, well, I'm not... The the uh, south room is the uh, study, and that's the one with the helmed horror. Oh, the helmed horror is in the, the study, which is... South. south. And, that, and that's where the chest is? Uh, I believe so. I believe so. Is that where the chest is, Slobber Chops? I think the chest is... Uh... I'm not entirely sure. He's having trouble remembering. I think he might need a, a treat. <laughs> I give him another cat snack. Got five left. Um, I got a bunch. Yeah, it's in the um, master bedroom. It's in the master bedroom. Oh, that's a cameo. Thank you, Gary. So, do we want to kill that or Brian? Horror anyway? Isn't that kind of what we're here to do? Yeah, I mean, we, we wanted her stuff, right? That's the idea. Well, we actually don't need to go to the helm. The helm door is in the south room, in the study. The chest yeah. is in the north room. And you so don't, don't think it's just, just going just, just gonna to come, come at us? I mean, it might. Well, let's just go kill it. Jerry, would you lead the way, please? <laughs> Jerry. All right, here we, here so we go. go in which room? The, the south. south door where the helm door is. Okay. Uh, so you open this door and there's an oak writing desk angled uh, to face the middle of the room. There's a matching chair behind it, two candlesticks atop it, um, and a freestanding suit of black plate armor topped Ooh. with a bucket helm uh, with a long sword and shield. And you see a staircase in the back and this 
plate armor uh flashes orange and red as it sees you guys enter and uh roll initiative Poor Kairos. No armor for you. What are you talking about? I got a shield. <laughs> I'm happy. 25 to 20. 20 to 15. 16. 16. You have the higher dex. Yes. 15 to 10. 10. 14. Oh, hey. Okay. Rollercoaster, you're up first. Uh, two attacks. The first one is a 15. The second one's an 18. What are we attacking? The suit the of armor. armor that lit up. Okay. <laughs> um, what was the scores again? I'm sorry. It was 15 and 18 to hit. Uh, those you fire those and uh, they ricochet and ping off the metal and do not do any damage as this thing uh, is moving around and uh, looking violent anything else? that's it for me Jarvis so I rolled I'm doing a scorching ray 16 sorry I'm doing my math uh, plus trying to have it ready before we started plus six so the first one is a 22 yes the sec second one is a uh 24 and a 23 well all of them hit i rolled a 16 18 and 17 nice so the first one is that's 2d6 plus something i think nope just 2d6 so the first one's a nine Second one is a seven, and the third one is a nine. Okay, you do a lot of damage to this thing. <laughs> and it looks, the plate metal's bent up and really fucked up. Um, Finish him off, shield boy. Shield boy. Uh, it's now the helmed horse to turn and it's going to go after you of course it is I pissed it off <laughs> and um, yeah it's going to make two long sword attacks at you uh, the first one I rolled a 6 which is six, uh, 12 to nope. hit and the next one is a 22 to hit. Ouch. Uh, yes. Uh, 16, no, 15 plus 6. Nope, can't do it. I was going to try shield. Nope, that one hits. Okay. Uh, that is 13 slashing damage as this massive hulking construct swings down with furious vengeance. Ouch. <sighs> My throat hurts. Um, and that is it. Jerry. Jerry <laughs> tries to chop its arm off with his great axe. Hell yeah. He runs over to it and just double fists. Great axe it, um, in the arm for seven damage. 20, 25. Hell yeah. Old. Seven damage halved because it's not magical. Anything else? Nope. Kairos. I'm going to utter a vow of enmity against him so I get advantage. Vow and enmity. I'm going to vow. I did. But it didn't help me at all. I'm that was make a, a whopping vow. 14. No, it does not accomplish okay. what you set out to do. I'm all done. I'm never using this d20 again. 
<laughs> Permanent jailhouse. Where's the metal dice in the cursed dice box? So it's that's a, your it's, fault. It's known that this is a problem. That's your this fault. My fault. No, fully my fault. Okay, good. It's reconfirming that this is not the one to use. Uh, <laughs> all right. Where where did I put that stupid thing? Uh, where Jesus? Oh my God. Oh, I'm just. I know what it is. Rhea's gonna cross crossbow, heavy crossbow. That's gonna hit. Nice, Rhea. Rhea's got her massive crossbow, and it's just like trying to get a good shot. And she fires and hits it right in the face, and it takes half damage per use. Roller coast. Regular attack. 15 to hit. Nope. That's it. Jarvis. Uh, another Scorching Ray. Uh, the first one misses. The second one is a uh, 16. Nope. And the third one is a 22. Yes. Seven damage. Noise. This thing is barely hanging together. Its metal is charred and turned up and it's spewing some of its magical essence out of its cracks and damage areas you've made into it. And it's probably about... I'm I'm right in front of him, right? Still? It's like he came up to me when he attacked me? Yeah, this is such a smart, small area. Yep. Like, it's not... Unless we're playing on a... On a uh, together at a table, it's... It's more effort than it's worth to do the nope. tactical shit. Um, nope. Only asking because I'm about to go down. <laughs> oh, he could roll bad. Maybe. Um, uh, okay. That's not going to work. Uh, does a 13 hit? Nope. Yeah, I don't think so. Not with my mage armor. It hasn't. <laughs> I assume we haven't been down there for yeah, eight hours. Fine. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Um, and the next one is a 16 total. Uh, shield. Okay. Ding. Arcane shield flares up as this massive fucking longsword from this construct gets deflected off of it. Nice work. Jerry. You're muted. Jerry uh, <laughs> swings and misses with his great axe. Man, Jerry. Yeah, he he gets it like he swings down and it hits hits like the floor right in between his two little armor feet, and the construct looks down and goes, rrr, rrr. Rrr, and uh, turns, and it is now Kairos's turn. Just from your description of his two little armored feet, I'm picturing that he has like size six feet. Yeah, it's uh, I'm like fine with full, that. Full huge suit of armor. I like that. I like that detail. <laughs> this thing is like eight feet tall, and it's and it's on like tiny feet. Tiny feet. Uh, I'm not, it's almost. Like I'm, you, I'm you right there be with better you. I can't off tripping it either. Yeah, right. Good thing I have advantage. A two certainly wouldn't do it, and a three, a two and a three. Instead of a seven and an eight, I get a two and a three. So I continue to miss. Gargoth says to you. Let me work if you're going to continually miss. And uh, Look, if, if it was just me at this point, I would let you, but like everybody is standing around me. <laughs> <laughs> you you just hear him go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel you. We'll have our moment, dude. And uh, Ray is going to fire again with a natural 20. Bye, Felicia. And uh, she shoots this thing and right into its faceless helmeted head and uh, the it flares the red flares a little bit and then it kind of goes dark and it's welded together plate mail just kind of falls down crumpled it's just a mess of metal now black metal uh, we're out of initiative one of these days Kairos these suits of armor won't be welded together yeah this time I'm not even gonna not even gonna bother. Yeah. It's, if it's welded together, I'm just gonna leave it welded together this time. I'm gonna look at its sword though. Is it anything fancy? <laughs> it's just a big ass long sword. All right. Cool. 
Well, should we go check out that chest? I'll take a look at her desk while you guys are looking at the chest. Jerry just kind of carries the the armor with him, like he's weekend at burnings, burnings it with just like just for fun. Okay. Just, he doesn't I'd like to, take to it. attempt to search this chest for traps before I reopen it. Uh, the chest is not in this room, but you can get to that um, in a second. This room has a bunch of bookcases. Um, there's a modest library of literature. It doesn't look like these books have ever been touched. Um, maybe for appearances only, like um, many people do. Um, there's a, a couple hundred books in here. Uh, are you sifting through each book, or are you just like scanning the room for anything immediately interesting? Should we try to find a super rare book so that we can trade? I don't know if I would know a super rare book if it smacked me in the face. I definitely would not, but I was thinking maybe Jar Jarvis would. Yeah, I've never read a book. Um, so I was just going to look in her desk for, like, contracts or... He's Can I scan for anything books. potentially magical? Uh, Yeah, there's nothing. Are you doing detect magic or what? No, I'm, like, looking for, like, maybe anything that might be in, like... Uh like spells or anything like that anything um there's so many books in here that you would have to spend probably an hour doing this would you like to do that oh no i'd rather spend the 10 minutes in detect magic <laughs> okay. you spend 10 minutes detecting magic and nothing lights up in here um jerry slobber chop says to you uh kairos is ne can he even read if he's never read a book Ask him, Jer. Hey, uh, Slobber Chops wants to know if you can read, Kairos. Um, I think I've made it pretty clear that I can read and write. I tell you, oh, he hasn't been with us. Slobber Chops, I know he, I can't understand. Yeah, him at he all. can. He can read and write. He says he just doesn't do it very often. Well, Slobber Chops, yeah, I'm. I'm I uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and by the way, Slobber Chops, can I get your last name? And I pull out my pad of paper. <laughs> uh, Slobber Chops, go fuck yourself. Slobber chops, go fuck yourself. Oh, um, me. And you hear Gargoth <laughs> laughing, going. <laughs> Actually, I write down meow. That's all I understand. <laughs> <clears throat> all I hear. That's a good point. <laughs> um, your dog is cute and doesn't know what to do though. She's so confused. She's like, "What am I doing? Yeah, she's like, Why are why? we on this? Yeah, oh. well, yeah." Dog is a spaz. It is. Um, I love doggos. In the opposite room, in the master bedroom, uh, in the chest. Hmm. Uh, the chest is locked. Is Falister still with us? Falister, are you here? Falister, yeah. Falister, Phil. You want me to hit it? Hold on, Phil. Did... Are you good at picking locks, per chance? Uh, no, not really. Oh, okay. Well, you seem to be like a sneaky, sneaky individual before. I, I so am. I it's maybe. more of like a charismatic sneakiness. I got you. Kairos um, hit it. Can I... Hold on, actually. I have an idea, and I don't know. I've never tried something like this before. <gasps> okay. Can I take, like, a piece of, like, metal from... Oh, no, it takes me an hour to do this. Never mind. Just do it. And I hit the lock. Make your attack roll. I don't know. Ten, ten minutes. I could have done change it. change oh, well. die? I'm not going to. For future I'm reference, while he's doing this, can I use minor alchemy to change metal to, like, shape the form of the lock, or is that not a thing? I'd have to read the spell. Um, I'll look at it, though. Okay. It was a 14. Okay. Uh, do me a favor and send me a personal message to remind me. Um, so yeah, I'll just send you the D and D Beyond. Text. Uh, yeah, you smash the lock and it comes off. And uh, now what? Lock smash, gentlemen. Oh. I live to serve. I Who's open opening? The chest. Okay, roller coast. Um, you see when you open it, three thin black covered ledgers. Um, 
and some calligraphy supplies, um, a poisoner's kit, a coin pouch made of sheep's bladder, and some like uh, pipes. I, what are those? Um, it's like uh, pipes that are about this big, like pipes going down. You, that's like pan a flute. pan flute. Thank you. You see one of those. Um. Yeah. Is there a coin in the coin pouch? Uh, you. It looks like it's weight weighted. Can I open the coin pouch? Count it so I can disperse it to my friends. Uh, row. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Something you, bad's about to happen. <laughs> you pull the the uh, coin pouch out and you count twenty two platinum. 85 gold pieces and 113 silver pieces. 22, 85, and 113. Yes. Uh, your detect magic is going off on these pipes, Jarvis. The pipes? Yes. Um, I I'm, I wrote down thin ledgers and, pi and coin pouch. I missed the pipes. What were the pipes again? It's like a pan flute. Oh, uh, okay. It's got enchantment okay. magic on it. Um, I'm gonna try to play it and see what happens. Um, are you gonna tune to it? It's gonna take some time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's still a poisoner's kit in there and a calligraphy supplies and the three ledgers. Right. Can I open said ledgers? Okay. Uh, when you take the third item out, um, the weight of the items you've removed uh, activates a trap. Um, started to check for traps too, and I forgot. Damn it! Releasing a cloud of poisonous gas. Uh, by the way, Kairos, you've been poisoned. Um, <coughs> just. Oh yeah, I have it on my sheet, but I didn't roll at disadvantage like That's I cool. should have. Um, poisonous gas in a ten-foot radius sphere. I assume most of you are in it. Um. Everybody make a constitution saving throw. Fifteen. Eighteen. Seventeen. Eleven. Jerry, um, all of you passed except Jerry. Jerry, you take 14 poison damage. Oof. And this cloud is in the same area I described earlier, and it seems to be dissipating, but you're going to have to take wait some... I'm, I'm going to move out of the cloud. I assumed so. Um, uh, and so you guys just wait. And um, yeah clears and um you now have access to the three ledgers you already had access to them because you pulled them out and set the trap off <laughs> you have uh access to calligrapher supplies and a poisoner's kit and when you attune to the pipes and then we'll leave it after this uh they're pipes of the sewers which means you can Call rats forth, I believe. Say control rats or something, and something with rats. That's pretty cool. <laughs> We're going to leave it at that because both me and Dave aren't feeling well. Reasonable. Reasonable. Your I appreciate that. I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> and I'm in Texas, gold. so it's almost 11 o'clock here. And, uh, yeah, if anyone wants to plug anything, go ahead and do so now or forever hold your peace until next time. Pax, I want to plug Pax Unplugged. It was very fun, very well organized. A lot of, a lot of games, a lot of new games to try. Just, it's a great event. Really, run, whoever runs that event is great. Yeah, I had a lot of virtual D and D friends go to that. Um, yeah, so it's got a big D and D presence there. A lot cool. of live gaming. Um, I have social media. Uh, it is at Jake Friday at, on Twitter, at Jake of the Friday on Instagram, and Venture Ventures 
more importantly, has an Instagram and a Twitter. Follow those to find out when we post the next episode for the podcast or YouTube. Without anything else left to say, my throat hurts. I'm going to go to bed. Be good to others. Be good to yourself. Take some NyQuil when you're sick. Amen. And drink a lot of water. Wise words. And, and whiskey. Whiskey helps, I heard. Preach. I I heard um <laughs> my, my never mind. A hot I'm just gonna go. I'm tired. I'm <laughs> we'll see you guys later.